Now, having seen certain things, we now move on to computation of net wealth. Everywhere we saw that the wealth tax has to be computed on net wealth. So therefore, it is very important to understand what is the meaning of net wealth. This net wealth is provided in section 2 subsection M. Okay. So net wealth basically has to be calculated by considering three factors. The first one is all assets. Okay. The second one is deemed assets. And the third one is certain deductions. Right? So let's start with the first one, which is assets. All assets, wherever located, well, the location is also an important factor, how we'll see in the subsequent slides in detail. And belonging to the assessee, so the asset should belong to the assessee. Okay? on valuation date right now so there are certain conditions first is it has to be an asset what is the meaning of asset we see in the subsequent slides in detail actually this is one of the most important part in the entire wealth tax as to what do you mean by an asset wherever located this might be located anywhere Okay, but location is also important depending on what class of assessee you are and how it impacts you is something again we are going to see in the subsequent slides. And belonging to the assessee, so the asset has to belong to the assessee on valuation date. Now what this means is that if it is not belonging to the assessee on the valuation date then it is not supposed to be included in the net wealth right so what does this mean let me give you an example let's say suppose an assessee on March 1 bought an asset okay here is A, here is B. He bought a car and B bought a house. And we are not getting into the debate whether car is an asset or not or house is an asset or not. Right? And they both did it on March 1. On March 31, A sold the car. B did not do anything. On April 1, B sold house. There are detailed guidelines as to when a house will constitute an asset for wealth tax purpose and similarly when a car would constitute an asset for wealth tax purpose. Right? But what we want to understand here is that the asset should belong to the assessee on valuation date right now the valuation date is going to be March 31 so if A sold the asset on the valuation date then effectively he does not own that asset or this asset do not belong to A now what is the moment when you see whether the asset belong to A or not it is the closing time so even if this asset is sold at 10 a.m. in the morning or 4 p.m. in the morning, that is not relevant. If on the date of closing of the valuation date, the asset does not belong to A, it is not included in the net wealth of A. Whereas in case of B, on March 31, he continued to own the house. He sold it, but on April 1. So on the valuation date, he 
he was owning this asset and therefore it has to be included in the wealth of B. The second thing which has to be added deemed assets required to be included in the net wealth of the assessee on the valuation date under section 4. So just like you saw something in the house property where there was a concept of deemed property okay similarly there are certain assets which are deemed to be the asset of the assessee for wealth tax purpose. In detail we are going to see this in the subsequent slides but just to understand the concept you need to add the deemed assets okay to the normal asset okay less so once you've added these two asset and please note that the computation in both these cases is provided in schedule 3 of the wealth tax act so each of these assets have to be computed or the value of the each of these asset has to be computed as per schedule 3 of the wealth tax act once you've computed these two you basically add them up a plus b from the sum of asset you have to reduce less debts outstanding on the valuation date incurred in relation to the above assets so let's say we took an example of house property so if X bought the house property let's say for 50 lakh okay and he took a loan of 30 lakh then 20 lakh is the amount which will be added as an asset here because 50 lakh will be added 30 lakh will be subtracted and net 20 lakh will be added in the asset but this debt has to be in relation to this asset you can't subtract any other debt which you don't own or rather which you own in respect of any of the assets which are not included here into this computation exemption under section 5 of the wealth tax act again there are certain exemptions which we will discuss assets and debts located outside India are excluded from net wealth in certain cases well this is again something which we will be seeing in the subsequent slides so in a nutshell what happens is you take all the assets to that you add all the deemed assets and from that you subtract all the debt outstanding the exemptions which are granted to you and assets and debts located outside India after you do this you reduce all these three and you will get the net wealth